myself. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. I don't normally give advice to the Marxist left, but I said at the time that if you give Donald Trump a mugshot, that you are going to make him a thug life hero for all time. And that you will see a coalition of people backing him uh, unlike anything else before in American politics. Now, this has been proved right over and over and over again, okay? This is what it looked like when Donald Trump was yeah, driving it, through Atlanta after being arrested. Donald Trump. Which one are you in, having though? everyone from the hood come out to the streets and cheer for him. Listen to this. There. Trump. <laughs> Free Trump is what they're cheering. About they got everybody. Free Trump is what they're screaming. There are hundreds of people out. Up. That's what it looks like on the street level, ladies and gentlemen. What does it look like on the tippy tops of the industry? Well, there's a very famous rapper named Fitty Cent. Very famous rapper who's probably with inflation worth about 15 to 25 cents now. Uh, real buying power. 50 Cent has 30 million followers on Instagram. Those 30 million followers, there's only like, you, you know, like, like there's only like 100 million people who vote in any any given election, right, in, here in America. So that's a, like big time number of people that follow 50 Cent. Uh, they were privy to 50 Cent's impression of Joe Biden's presidency. 50 Cent, I think, was like on The Apprentice or has worked with Donald Trump in the past. I think 50 Cent really cares about his money, hence why his name is a denomination of the American currency, and is really quite upset at the way the world is going right now. Posted a photo of Joe Biden sleeping on the beach. Biden hits the beach in the Middle East, Congress in chaos. Get the F up, Joe. We're in trouble, man, is what 50 Cent posts. Hashtag Sleepy Joe. 17,000 comments. Oh, this has a missing contact. Oh, man. Okay, so this, oh, no. <laughs> it's an old picture. <laughs> oh, okay, got it. So this is an old picture, but it's true. This is a photo of Joe Biden sunbathing on the beach, probably from earlier in the summer. And Joe Biden was on the beach this past weekend. We have the footage. We can show you. Joe Biden was wandering around on the beach. It's just a little cold right now in Delaware to be sitting out soaking up the sun. So this on Instagram gets fact checked, missing context. Here's your context, you jackasses. Here you go. This is Joe Biden on the beach this weekend in the midst of the... Palestinian, Gaza, Israel conflict, along with ongoing wars in Ukraine, Russia, currency collapse, national debt spiraling, open border. You can see he's asked there about people dying in the Mideast, and Joe Biden just keeps wandering the beach. So, okay, you fact checkers, look at these frauds. Look at these freaking, these despicable frauds. Look at how they get away with this stuff. So they're able to then, they slap a label on this and then they are able to then reduce it in everyone's feed, right? So no one's able to see it, even though it has 200,000 likes on it. But they're able to slap a label, reduce it in the feed, mark it as unsafe content because it shows Joe Biden on the beach during a different day. Joe Biden's been president for a thousand days and he spent 300 of them on vacation. So here's Joe Biden on vacation. They're, they're not saying this isn't a real photo of Joe Biden. And I just showed you Joe Biden on the beach. Here you go. Here's 50 cent. Oh, they haven't fact checked this one. Fact checked this one again. Here we go. He posted again. 50 cent posted again. 50 cent flames Biden for vacation with world on the brink. We got some real S going on out here, Joe. What's the plan to get tan and chill? Come on now. And then with a with a like a shruggy with the shruggy face emoji. So 50 cent has now gone in 50 cent, 50 cent or 50 cent. 
I don't know. Again, again, worth a uh, now simply worth a nickel, I think, with Joe Biden's uh, inflation. So if you scroll scroll through 50 Cent's uh, main feed here, you'll see that politics makes strange bedfellows. 50 Cent and Eminem are close friends. Eminem says 50 Cent is one of the best friends he's ever known after a surprise Detroit gig. But it was that same Eminem who was saying that he could barely function thinking about Donald Trump. It, it, it cost him so much pain. Donald Trump's mere existence. Why? Because he didn't like the color of his skin. He's too orange. Watch. When I start talking about Trump, I get too flustered in my head. The shit that I want to say, there's, there's too many things I want to say at once. So sometimes I start talking and I, and I don't, I'm not able to convey the message the right way because I just get flustered and frustrated. If you're talking about his core being, you know, a majority white middle class, watching him play to his base that thinks that he cares about them and it's actually the people that he cares about the least. So what's Donald Trump's reaction to this? Oh man, this is going to uh, send Eminem back into rehab. Donald Trump has now re-truthed 50 Cent. Donald Trump has put this back up, has put this up on uh, Truth Social uh, with no comment. So now here's Eminem's best friend getting put up by Donald Trump, even after he has a panic attack about the existence of Donald Trump. These people are such p they, they try to act so hard and they are soft as the vanilla ice cream from the ice cream machine at McDonald's. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, I've just, I've, I've said it again, I've said it before, like you are gonna get a backlash for turning Donald Trump into a thug life meme. You're gonna have unbelievable amounts of backlash. People from all walks and all stripes are going to come forward and say, wait a second, if you're attacking this guy this hard, there's gotta be something to him, okay? There's gotta be something to him. People showing up on the street to cheer on Donald Trump after being arrested. Also, Waka Flocka, 50 Cent, for, certainly not the first person to endorse Donald Trump, su pseudo endorse Donald Trump, criticize Donald Trump's opponent, Joe Biden. Waka Flocka endorsed Donald Trump last week. Little Pump has endorsed Donald Trump. Waka Flocka actually changed his profile picture to Donald Trump. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> it's an incredible timeline. Uh, when will LL Cool J change his profile picture to Donald Trump? Uh, well, hopefully after being called LLJ Cool. Great artists of our time representing the groundbreaking legacy of hip hop in America. LLJ Cool J. Uh, <laughs> by the way, that boy's got, he got man's got biceps bigger than my thighs. So one, you get his name wrong, okay? And then you call him boy. And then you talk about how he's a strapping young man. Oh yes, Joe, definitely not a racist. People, like Joe Biden is such a, such a racist, okay? It, I mean, honestly, it's so, it's so, for anybody who knows Joe Biden's history and knows where he comes from, like the, Joe Biden has absolutely put his finger in the wind and decided, which side of which racial, whatever could give him the most power, right? If it was calling black people super predators or fighting corn pop, Joe Biden will do that. If it's trying as hard as you can to appeal to black people, like in it, like so much so that you're kneeling to them, like there's so many photos of Joe Biden kneeling, right? During BLM, like, like literally bowing and pledging fealty to black people, he'll do that. But it's not working. As our new poll shows, the president's approval among black voters is down 17 points since the first year of his presidency. Mr. Biden is also down by double digits among Latinos, voters without a college degree and independents. And as we mentioned, 59 percent of Democratic primary voters tell us they want to see a challenger to President Biden. Yeah. So that's what the corporate media is saying. But what are the people saying? Well, ladies and gentlemen. Eminem on life support after watching this clip. Mug shot, bitch. Oh my <laughs> God. Angry little orange. I ain't even like that with the politics and shit, but boy, this, this shit gangster. Can't lie to you. Look at him. He hot. 
Then a mother, they let him keep the limited tan and the little lip lines on top of the motherfucking lip. Show you how pissed. In this photo, I know he was thinking, ladies and gentlemen and children, vote for me. I would not put it past him to use this shit in his campaign. I would on my motherfucking mama, bitch. I'm putting this on every flag, every motherfucking sign. I'm kissing babies with this shit tatted on my lips so it leave a little print on the baby. Like, nah, bro, how gangster is this fucking shit? Real talk, you feel me? An ex-president with a fucking mugshot. And what if he wins? What if he win in 2024? Boy, it's, it's over. Bitch, it's over. You'll never, you won't be able to stop him. You wouldn't be able to stop me. I'm telling you. This shit is fucking crazy. I'm telling you, and you know why it's so crazy? Because we, I know how hard they fought for this to not happen. Millions of dollars were spent so we wouldn't see this, but goddamn, we looking at it. Straight thugged out, man. Y'all done pissed him off. If you let this man become the next president, look at him. I'm telling you, he gonna tee the fuck up on you. So to everybody that don't like Trump, you better fix it, because you can't put your op through this type of shit and think if he get on top, he ain't gonna put that foot in your ass. <laughs> put that foot in your ass. And it starts. Right here at the top. Bottom to the top. Top to the bottom. 50 cent. We got some real shit going on out here, Joe. What's the plan? Get tan and chill? Come on now. We have reached the Great Awakening. And it is wonderful. It is delightful. Please have a front row seat by subscribing to our channel. Like, share, and subscribe. It's your boy, Benny. See you.